My name is Mike Gregory, and this is the video tutorial for my Python tool for establishing a Houdini to Maya workflow for use in destruction simulation. Before I demonstrate the finished program, I will talk about the reasons why the creation of this tool was necessary, then I will demonstrate the user interface, importing files from Houdini, and then end showing a full workflow from Houdini to Maya and what to expect when using this tool. Maya is the industry standard for modelling and animation, but when it comes to dynamics, it leaves a lot to be desired. This is an example scene where a cube will be dropped onto a surface and shatter. Maya does not support dynamic shattering, so it has been pre-shattered into 10 pieces, a simple task for any modern physics engine. Simulation is extremely slow, far too slow for an artist wishing to do destruction simulation. Maya also cannot shatter any object more complex than basic primitives, which may work for buildings at a distance, but not for those up close. Houdini is a far more practical choice for an artist wishing to do destruction simulation, however the license for a commercial version costs $4,500. Non-commercial projects and students can use the free apprentice version, however the limitations include severely restricted export options. This means that getting data out of Houdini requires a workaround. This is a similar demonstration in Houdini, but it is a lot faster. Houdini's speed affords artists the ability to rapidly simulate dynamics in almost real time. Rather than requiring pre-shattering, objects can be shattered automatically based on stresses the object receives and it is far more realistic. Being able to use this program's dynamic simulation with Maya's modelling, animation and rendering would be extremely beneficial for junior TDs or students wishing to go into a technical director role. Installation of the tool is extremely easy. The first step is to copy a PNG file into your Maya Preferences folder. This is purely for the interface and not for the running of the script. Once this is done, copy and paste the code into the Python code browser and press Execute. The user interface will appear immediately. This was designed to be very clean and simple, with the only selectable options being Select OBJ Files and Close. Choosing to select OBJ Files opens a standard Maya import dialog box. From here, any file in the sequence can be selected and the tool will automatically recognize the start and end frame. In this example, I will choose to open the Result OBJ File Sequence. The interface will then display the name of the sequence, length and frame range. This can be adjusted with the Adjust Range button. Artists should keep in mind that frames run from frame 1, so a sequence from 20 to 40 is in fact 21 frames instead of 20. For convenience, the object can be translated, scaled and rotated automatically post-import with the Transform Object option. This is useful if Houdini exports an object in the wrong place and needs to be relocated after import. Time Warp allows the artist to adjust when the first frame plays. For example, a value of 10 postpones the animation by 10 frames. The sequence can now be imported into a fresh, empty scene, or merged with the current scene. And now, the cube has been successfully imported from Houdini into Maya. This was the same animation that was demonstrated earlier in Houdini. This data can now be used in animations, or for whatever project the artist desires. I will now demonstrate the complete workflow and a more complex shatter. This video assumes some knowledge of Houdini and does not cover up setting up the rigid body collisions. This is the shatter that I will be importing into Maya. The sequence is written using an ROP output driver node. Attention must be paid to the name that the file uses or the script will be unable to recognize it. Before the data is exported, a group node must be used to delete all groups in the mesh, otherwise the import will fail. All exported OBJs must comprise of a single mesh only. 
The naming convention is name underscore dollar f dot obj. In this example, I will name this sequence complex underscore dollar f dot obj. Now that the sequence has been exported, I will use my script to import it into Maya. An error occurred during import. This is because once scenes reach a level of complexity, corruption can occur within the OBJ files. Selecting the Fix Corrupted OBJ Files box will allow my tool to repair corrupted OBJs. However, the artist must be aware that it causes permanent changes to the source files. Should the script fail, it may cause irreparable harm to the original file and therefore warns users that they must make a backup. Now, during the import process, the text changes to indicate that it is repairing the files. The corrupted sequence is now imported into Maya, but remains visually identical to the source. This demonstrates my Python tool for establishing a Houdini to Maya workflow. Thank you for listening.